Well, we've got Champions Day on Saturday. You're riding Faniel against the mighty Frankel. Realistically, what are you hoping for? Well, uh, I think, you know, first of all, it's it's Frankel's last run, and I think he, he's, he's really he needs to be savoured, and 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 you know, people need people need to understand what they've witnessed since he's been around, and he's he's done something that. Well, if he wins on Saturday, he's done something that that very, very few horses have ever done, and uh, I think he's been magnificently managed, and uh, he's a fantastic racehorse. You know, but from a professional point of view, I'm, I'm out there to beat him, and um, you know, I ride a very good horse in the Faneuil, uh, who's had a magnificent season, and uh, and he's really proven this year what a good horse he is. But. Um, you know, it's like it's two sides. You know, from a professional point of view, I want to beat him, but from a sentimental point of view, it's I want him, to, I want Frankel to win. So it's 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 a hard one, but I'll be I'll still be trying my best to to beat him. Just tell us about Nathaniel's well-being, because obviously he had that setback in the run-up to the arc. How is he in the lead-up to Saturday? He's in good form. Uh, he's in good form. Uh, John's happy with him, so you know it, it's it's going to be his last, his last race uh, before he goes to stud. So. Uh, he, he's in good order. Obviously, very unfortunate that he missed the pre like the Triumph, but um, you know they're not machines, so you know you can't control these things. But um, he, everybody's happy with him, so he goes there in very good form. The book started with Nathaniel against Franklin, and it ends with Nathaniel against Franklin. It's, it's sitting in. Yes, yeah, it's, it's great, isn't it? You know, he, he's still the horse that, every, that clo got closest to him ever, uh, a length and a quarter or something. I think it is a length and three quarters or something, and. Um, you know, it's. Uh, I'm not. I'm not standing here saying he can beat him, but you know, I think. Uh, I, th I think he'll give him a race. How serious a threat do you reckon that the French horse is serious as I think he's a very good horse. I think he's a very good horse. He. Um, he's. He's been at the highest level, nearly all his all his career, <coughs> and um, he won very well in the pre dollar at Longchamp on soft ground, which will be on Saturday. So, you know, he's. Uh, he's a very talented horse, and you, you know, I suppose it's not. It's not just me, it's not just Nathaniel or Frankel. I suppose you can throw Sirius as Eagles in there as well. It's a free horse race. You've also got a couple of other very good rides in Great Heavens and Elusive Cape. Just quickly on Great Heavens, it's not easy what she's trying to do in terms of running in a competitive arc and, and then coming here on Saturday. No, she's, uh, I thought she ran great in the arc. I was, I was proud of her and uh, she gave me a great ride. Um, you know, she, she takes on lesser company this time, so if she didn't do too much in Paris, she, she'd be fine. You know, the, the ground's right for her. She was very good in, in the Irish Oaks. So um, I'm, 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 I'm really looking forward to, to, to riding her. Is there a bit of a worry about the ground for Elusive Kate? Uh, she, well, she ran well in the Falmouth on pretty soft ground. I mean, I suppose it's, this might be different. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure, but, um, you know, she's had a magnificent season. I like I said before, I, I, I do not know the last time she ran a bad race. She's so reliable, isn't she? Yeah, she's it's unbelievable. And uh, she, 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 you know, she would have won the um, Sun Chariot hadn't it been for for the shoe come. Uh, but it was half hanging off and half hanging off, half hanging on, half hanging off. So, uh, you know, and and obviously the winner went on to win the EP Taylor. So she, she's her career has been magnificent and. Um, I think she'll. She, I think she'll. She, she could be a. She could be a worry for the for the leading players. When you look back on your season, it, it has been a wonderful season, and you've won so many big races. Do you think one of your highlights, surprisingly, would be in defeat, but the privilege to ride against one of the, the world's best horses ever? Yeah, it's. I, I really got in the last time I rode in there, Judmont uh, uh, Planter for Marco Botti. It was. Um, I was behind Frankel and. And obviously, you know, everybody goes out. You know, professional jockeys—they they want to win every race that they're in. And um, but that day, I really got a feel for what Frankel is. You know, I was behind him, and when, when Tom kind of asked him to move, it was—it was unbelievable. And it's like I said, like I said earlier, it's he has to be savoured, and it's you need to be—you need to know how lucky we are to to be around when this horse is around. Thanks, William. Good luck on Saturday. Okay.